Hello, uh, welcome to Oz Magica 2. I'm going to just, uh, I think I'm going to put it further away. So the way you start with this mod is you do this. Uh, this is obviously been around for a long time, this, um, this mod. But it's, uh, I think it's only recently come to 1102. Um, okay, so once you do that, you unlock the secrets of the arcane. To make a spell, you need to uh, create an oculus. Uh... Okay, this looks like stuff is still locked. I was having trouble trying to see if I could do this in creative. We'll see if I, let's see if uh, we'll see if the oculus is. I think when you once you do that, you might be able to do this. Yeah, here we go. So you get four points to start with, and you've got various things. You do a snowball. Self and touch. Dig is the one that you need to get, I think. Uh, dig is the one which is most commonly done, I believe. Um, so this, I won't. There's no point really straying too much from that. So we'll go for that, and we have got target non solid blocks and dig. Okay, so that's that's that. So let's have a look at how we might want to do this. Unlock at least one spell shape, one component. Okay, I've done that. Then craft a rival bit book and head over to the inscription table. Okay. Okay, so that would require, yeah, so it's all pretty, these things, the Oculus is very easy to make as well. All vanilla type stuff, maybe some blue topaz or something like that. Uh, none of this like Witchwood or the Desert Orms or the, um, um, sorry, the Orms or the Desert Novas. Um, none of that stuff. So we want a writable book. Not, uh... I think it means... Does it mean Book and Quill for this? I think it does. Yep. Okay, Dig is actually greyed out for some reason. So why is that? Let's have a look. Place the book in the inscription table. There are three sections of the inscription table UI that know it. Source regions, large grey square top, okay, all your known shapes, components, and modifiers. Shape group sections are done by brown squares. There's multiple brown squares, multiple shapes groups can be created. Finally, there's a spell grammar section, which is the grey rectangle on the bottom. Create shape groups by dragging shapes on the modifiers from the source region, any of the shape groups in the UI. You can create multiple shape groups in the same spell, three by default. Each shape group can have four shapes modifiers. Shape groups cannot contain components. A good way to think about it is that shape groups are different means of targeting things with the spell. Then the spell grammar is what the spell actually does. Once your shape groups are created, Mm. Let's just get that one as well then. Target non solid and down to Yeah, so these are so this one is um an octagon, that one's a a diamond and this one's a square. So I have a feeling that's pretty relevant, isn't it? Okay, so can I do a dig spell here? Right, so you have to at least one component is needed. What about a dig then? What the fuck? Well, that's difficult to understand. The source region, the shape group, is the big brown squares. And the spell grammar is the grey rectangle at the bottom. Okay, so I think I could do this, and then I can put this in here, maybe? Okay, we won't bother with that one, then. Right. Okay. Uh... The shape group section... Okay, I understand. 
Let me just see. There was a bit which actually explained what the shape group meant. A good way to think about it is that shape groups are different means of targeting things with the spell. Then the spell grammar is what the spell actually does. And the spell grammar is the bottom. Okay, so the grammar is like a verb. And uh, it's like... Um, uh, you know, and this is like the position for the uh, the, tar the target position or whatever. Okay, so once your spell is complete, yep, yeah, done. Go to your crafting altar and place your bo the book containing the spell on the lectern. Interesting. Okay. What is that? Oh. Let me just get rid of this. Uh, I won't use. I'll, I'm, I'll just in case something unlocks accidentally. Okay, so let me just check then. Uh, crafting altar is not here. Okay, so this is the recipe for the modify. So the touch is modified by a target non-solid blocks. So touch is a is adjacent. Okay. I would change the, this the scale. I can kind of see it. There was this talents, target non-solid blocks. That's target. Grass, water, lava. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, component shapes. This component, and that's a modifier. Okay, so you can see the three different shapes there. That's cool too. That was why I actually did it like that, because I thought there was something like that. Um, the crafting altar. I don't have a crafting altar, and there's no description about it. All right, let's just go back to this then. Once your combination is complete, can I click on the crafting altar? No. Place the book. Consp oh, bollocks. I think this might be a multi block that I don't know how to make. Oh, no, you could just make. Oh, no. Just put. I just guess. Uh, what's the recipe for it? Vintium dust. Okay, world gen. Vintium looks a bit different. So, what? You probably have it like this. And then the lectern. Does it go on top? Maybe. Is that correct? It's probably not. Uh, I don't remember it, anything like this looking like this. Okay. Right, yeah. So it's a hundred percent an earth spell, okay. But what I don't even understand. There is no entry on the crafting order. Do yeah, I've done that. Throw a blank. Throw a blank rune in here. Okay, well, let's just try it. May as well. No. Again, basic. Okay. So probably in here, I'd imagine. Huh. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to come back next one to see how I do this. Thanks for watching.